and we've decided to go on a trip. Really excited to wear all these outfits. But I'm still waiting on this one package from Shein I ordered. Yay. Yeah, eh? I actually get anxious thinking about going to so what we're waiting to. Hello, good day, hope you're doing amazing. As per usual, as we say in these vlogs. So for the last month, I feel like the month of April, we're in May now, so the month of April was so eventful. We had an event or multiple events every single weekend. And during the week, we tried to do our work, housework, chores, you know, the day-to-day -day things. And now finally in May, my birthday is coming up and we've decided to go on a trip. We're going on a trip, super excited. If you guys have been watching for a very long time, you know where I've always, 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 always wanted to go. And we're finally, finally, finally going there. I'm going for five days, well, four, full days and then coming back on the fifth day super excited so i have a whole bunch of clothes to pack i'm testing out some new makeup products to achieve like that glowy beachy kind of look i think i did a pretty good job today and i, I tried to use minimal products and so getting ready in the morning would not be so what's that word wouldn't be so tedious so i want to get out of the apartment or place or wherever we're staying and be on the beach in the pool first thing in the morning and Obviously you wanna have like a picture perfect face cause I'm trying to take some bangers out here, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys on all the travel prep for this specific trip. I'm going to show you guys packing stuff and like makeup stuff and the things we do, last minute errands, going shopping. We have to go shopping tomorrow. We gotta to get a couple things, last minute chores and all that, you know, all that to do stuff before your flight. And the fun thing is our flight is 6.30 in the morning, which means we will have to leave the house around two o'clock, which I'll also vlog for you guys. So I'm planning to vlog so much on this trip. Like you have no idea, even though I'm going for a few days, I plan to release a vlog a day or two vlogs with this trip. maybe three vlogs and it's a little pushing it but we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm also wanting to use this time to relax and be in the moment be present and just chill out and just turn you know turn my brain off and just you know just be there you know but that's the plan i am i'm just going with dad to watch the arsenal game there's like four games left i don't know how this football stuff works i'm usually never present when there's a game on i would obviously still love to go to a game but i was like yo i can't go because i have so much to do and if you're anything like me and you want to go on a trip and you're trying to plan outfits you're trying to like make sure that when you're there everything's already thought of so you don't waste any thinking power when you're there because thinking is so draining i have so much to say clearly but i'm trying to do all that asap so the day of i can rest because the flight is such an awkward time and i'm not looking forward to that but anyways i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna show you the chaotic thing that my room has turned into we have clothes and bags and stuff everywhere from staying out unpacking suitcases packing suitcases trying on new outfits not liking outfits changing and just like it's the reality like when you're busy af and you're trying to find outfits your whole room and your closet become like piles and piles of clothes so i'm gonna go sort that out i'm gonna take the suitcase out and i'm gonna start packing today because we are leaving in so today's sunday we're leaving tuesday night or monday early morning or sorry or wednesday early morning whatever you want to call it so i need to start getting all that done now because i'm gonna get hella anxious so all right complete honestly this is what we're dealing with here a whole bunch of stuff here. We, get, we did some shopping. We did some shopping at Dior and Balenci. I can share that with you guys on vacay. And did a whole bunch of shopping there. A whole bunch of stuff here. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here. This is actually all my stuff. Let me get your shit together. So yeah, excuse me while I go pick up all those clothes. I think it's only gonna take me about, I would say 30 minutes, but I'm also taking this time to declutter my closet and throw out clothes that I do not wear anymore. I'm just gonna donate them because I realize every time I've tried to go out now and I can't find anything to wear, it's because I've worn the same thing so many times and I don't reach for those anymore. So I'm just gonna give them to a better home and make space for new things that I can wear and buy and have space for. I don't want, I don't want like the closet, like I don't want the hangers to be tight. I want everything to be free flowing like when you're in the store kind of vibe. So I'm gonna declutter at the same time. And then once all this stuff is up, I'm gonna open up my suitcase and then put everything in there. Things so far that I have for vacay, I got like an all white outfit. I got like a beige outfit. I have an orange outfit. I have like a multicolor outfit. I have a dress for my birthday. Really excited to wear all these outfits. I gotta cut these tags off and figure out what day I'm wearing what. And I have the iron here ready to go to iron everything for a packet, even though it's gonna get creased again, but it's all good. And obviously I have my extensions laying here that I need to prep as well.
last night I managed to put away all my clothes so everything's away. The only thing left is to pack. I have made a pile of clothes like I showed you guys. But I'm still waiting on this one package from Shein I ordered. I ordered from them for like the first time and it's taking longer than expected. It's saying it's, you know, within the vicinity, but the driver doesn't have it yet. So worst case scenario, I guess we say we can go pick it up, but I can't pack until that comes because if that doesn't come, I need to find outfits in my closet that I can take with me. So, I mean, I don't need too many more outfits, but it'd be nice to wear something new. But that's just the situation. I am ready to go shopping. We're gonna go shopping, we're gonna Stratford. Picking up some essentials. I made a list of a few things that I want or need, or I think that I need, and we're gonna try to go get those. Today, I'm only wearing, guys, okay. So I'm only wearing concealer today. And I feel like I like this better than yesterday's because yesterday's obviously was more makeup. But I'm wearing the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer and this literally just blends into your skin. I'm not wearing co like color corrector or anything. I put it on, I tapped it on my fingers and yo, I love it. Also, my one nail is broken and I need to get my nails done so I can't go till tomorrow because Mondays everything is closed usually, like all the little small shops and stuff. But yeah, so that's the update. I haven't combed my hair in like two days, but that's all good. But today I went outside, you know, on my normal comfort zone of wearing a hoodie. It's hot outside, so I'm wearing like a white tank top kind of vibe with black leggings and like oversized denim shirt. I got this from like a thrift shop for like five pounds, literally. So cheap, but it's so, it's such good quality. I love it. And my brother's gonna die, so let me go quick. Go change that. Good morning, guys. I already started my vlog. No, but that's how you say it. Good morning, guys. That's not my accent. Please tell me you made a list of all the things you need. Yeah, because you told me to. We're not just being here for hours and hours. We're gonna end on. up being here for hours even if we have a oh, list. Oh wow, automatic door. Sick. I thought you had to push it open. No, nah, good. It's a UK thing. I'm so empty. I'm so warm. So we're going first downstairs? Yeah, I say we start down. And we There's three floors, right? There's what? three floors, we're gonna bash out all of them in one hour. Let's do it. No, we got time after Nando's. We're gonna have Nando's. <laughs> So I went to Superdrug and I found this foundation. Is it? This one. Apparently, this one is like so talked about online and filters your entire face. I don't know if this is my shade, but I'm gonna try it out. It's a drugstore makeup revolution. Let's see how it works. Yeah, eh? Wait. What about this hat though? I feel like a little kid making me try things on right now. Wait, watch out. <laughs> Wait, hold on, one more thing. Try on. I feel like I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Don't look at my socks, man. It's big. <laughs> you look like you're about to go to sleep. I, I wish this was bigger. Um, wait, it only comes in one size. Nope, this is a large. I don't know about the trousers. I feel like I'm too much of a short person. Is that better? Yeah, a little better still. I think that's cute. High five. So we eat so much food. So much food. So much. I would food. admit that Malik definitely ate more than I me. was so hungry. I feel like I haven't eaten in five years. She ate everything. I, actually, I struggled. I didn't eat everything. You had about three garlic breads, six wings apparently. No, I had two and a half. <laughs> so bad, but I don't think I'm eating for the rest of the day, to be fair. No, nah, that's the thing about Nando's. By the way, it's up my nostrils, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't hold the camera, my arm is hurting. Why don't I come on this side? All the food has rushed to my arm. Bloody, <laughs> oh, it's going up my nose, man. Nando sets you up nicely for the day. It does. It's like, like I'm full, but like, I'm not like, I'm full, but I'm not like, you know that feeling I'm really nasty full? If you want full? nice lighting, this is the place. All right, my arm is hurting. All right, guys, I just came home to this. My Shein package has arrived. Let's see if everything fits. Since I always forget to do this, I thought I'd share with you the things that I bought from Stratford. I picked up a random bunch of random, random stuff. Like, you know, like the extra stuff that you need. So I picked that up, but I'll show you what I got. So I have a super drug bag here, but there's other stuff in there because I'm like, I don't want another bag for like one product. So I just threw everything in here. So we're just gonna go through this bag like it's Christmas. So I went to Morphe and yo, I didn't know that they had a jumbo size of the setting spray. So I picked that up, obviously not to take with me. So I picked up a smaller one to take with me on the airplane. My favorite setting spray ever. This one's really good in the MAC Fix Plus. I use a lot as well. And then I also use the NYX Dewy Finish Spray as well. That is bomb.com and it's so tiny. So you can put it in your purse when you go out as well. Okay, next we have, I got 
So I have um, a few travel containers already at home, but then I picked these up because I'm like, I'm not gonna buy a whole case full of them. So it was nice that they came individually. So I, just, I can just put like my, what's it called? My face wash in there and then I can put on men's whatever he needs in here as well. And I also got like a, oh wait, I can see it. Yes. So I got, also got like a little container so I can put moisturizer in there because our moisturizer container, you share it and it's really big. So I'm like, why waste all the space when you can just put it in here? And that'd be more than enough for like, the four and a half days that we're going for. Next, razor blades because yo, obviously I'm gonna need to shave his face and I need to shave my body because laser game is going on and I can't wax. So I gotta shave the little tiny hairs. Got some toothpaste because you always need that. It's nice traveling with someone because like you can just share things. So it's half the weight that comes back. Got a mini dry shampoo because trying to not wash my hair while I'm there. So that means I'm not trying to get it wet, but when I do get it wet, I'm gonna have to wash it for the days that I don't. And if I get hot and sweaty, I can just dry shampoo it because it's a mission to wash red hair all the time. I picked up eyelashes. So I got uh, Kiss ones and Ardell ones. I have so many eyelashes at home because so many people send them to me and I love trying them out and like giving my feedback and stuff like that. But the thing is like those lashes are very heavy so they're more for like full glam looks which i probably won't do maybe like one or two nights but during the daytime i want to wear lashes and i don't want to wear the full glam lashes with like a really simple makeup look so i got really light ones so i got like this one and then i picked up these the ardell naked lashes in 424 and then the kiss no filter lashes so i got those i never really used these ones before but let's try Okay, yeah, so I was telling you guys about this earlier, but I've seen this all over my Instagram. So I keep seeing this all over my Instagram stories and on TikTok, but it's an IRL filter foundation. It is, I guess it's called the In Real Life Filter Foundation. It's by Revolution. It's oil-free, which I think is good for like a hot place. So like, you know, when you sweat, like I get sweaty or like oily in like my T-zone area, like here, here, uh, I guess like a little bit here and like here. So I'm going to try this out. I'll actually try it out tomorrow and see how it goes like during the daytime. But I've been trying to try this and hopefully the shade matches. I'll let you guys know what I feel. And then from Boots, I picked up, you know, you got to have the classic earrings, chunky hoops. I love wearing jewelry with like bathing clothes because I feel like it makes it look super cute and you look a little extra glammed with this like middle clothes on. Okay, so I went to NARS and I wanted to get a few things but the two of the main things i wanted that didn't have in stock so i'm hoping that they have it at the airport but i picked up their radiant creamy concealer because i love this concealer and then i got the radiant creamy color corrector i know they just came out with this color corrector and i've been wanting to try it for a long time i mean i love the Vasanti one but i'm like let me try a different brand because i've been like use this one forever sometimes you want to layer it up so it's like this it's really similar match actually to the Vasanti. i actually wanted to get their radiant uh, foundation and like this sheer glow thing that they have uh, they're out of stock in both so i'm hoping that they have it at the airport and duty free so i'm gonna obviously get that i really wanted to get the milk makeup lux concealer but they didn't have milk makeup anywhere so i had to get an alternative and then i have this like oh i saw this so it's cocoa radiant body oil with its body gel oil oh i didn't want gel <sighs> smells good so i picked this up i've never tried this before i i love when i go on like a hot destination like layering up oil and stuff so because your skin gets my skin gets really dry so it's nice to like you know be a little glowy and then i must always pick these up it's the butter butter gloss by nyx and i got shades praline and cinnamon roll these are the colors that i got these are so cute for like a natural look um i didn't get any clothes so i basically ordered all my clothes online i got all my clothes from pretty little thing and shein i am going to show you guys what i bought and what i'm taking with me but i'll need to organize first what i'm wearing on what day so that way i can show you in order or whatever because right now my mind's a mess because i have a pile of clothes but i just don't know when i'm wearing what kind of thing so i'll show you all of that i don't know what purse to take still i don't know what shoes to pack i have a bunch of sandals so we'll see so let me try to get that a little bit organized so then i can finally pack my makeup so i have finally planned out all of my outfits i just need one more which is my go going away airport outfit which i'm now looking forward to so me and i were packing like we've never packed our clothes like this we usually just like i want to take these pants i want to take these tops i want to take you know this that and that and then the problem is whenever you get there you never know what to wear and you waste so much time just thinking about what to wear but because me and i'm in our sharing suitcases so he's getting one side i'm getting the other and we have about 26 kg that we can take and it's because it's all light clothes and let's just share a suitcase so we are planning out all of our outfits so we know exactly what we have it's easy to find we won't make a mess in our suitcase none of that stuff so really excited for the packing experience of this trip i'm using i'm gonna bug because i just wash the dishes and run upstairs I'm using packing cubes. I ordered them this morning and they just got here now. So I'm going to pack those into cubes. 
for now. Good morning, guys. Today's the day. Today's the day where we depart for our destination starting at midnight. So I'll have the whole day with you guys and we're gonna finish the last bits of packing in preparation before we go to a trip. I look like a hot mess, but that's okay because I literally just woke up. We're gonna take Bailey for a walk soon, and that means in the meantime, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows by myself. I stopped getting them done since like high school by someone because one time I feel like she messed up my eyebrows. Like one was like curved and one was pointy, and I just your eyebrows to find your face. You can't you can't be having that. So I do my eyebrows myself. I just use pluckers and or tweezers. What the hell? Who says pluckers? I use tweezers and then I use little scissors and then I I just like figure it out kind of thing. I just noticed the lighting here is horrible for the camera, but I have like a big light in front of me to help me see if, oh, there you go, so much better, yay. Let me just set you up over here. There you go, sorry about that. So yeah, um, I just do myself, I use tweezers, I use those little mini eyebrow scissors, and um, and yeah, I just carve them out how I want. And they're usually good to go. Last time I did them, I did them too thin, so <coughs> I have let them grow down a little bit, so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. And where are my utensils? All right, so I use these little tiny scissors over here, and I use like really the world's smallest tweezers. Look how tiny these are. So I use these. I wish they were longer, but I feel like they wouldn't be as precise. So I have those, and then I'm just gonna use like an eyebrow pencil to just like help help me comb along the way. So what I do is I just brush all my hairs upwards like that, and then I draw a line with my pencil kind of thing of where I want my eyebrow to be or where it should be or whatever. And then I just start plucking away. And they want to take off some of the edge on my eyebrow because like I feel like it's way too long. I want it to be like a little bit like up to here. So I'm just gonna carve that off. And then after when I do the bottom, I do the top. So what I do is I push all the brows down like this and then I clean it up. So the the top part's not a problem. It's just the cleaning up bit that I need to do, but it's always the bottom that, you know, gets like half sharp kind of defined. And then what I do is I comb up all the hairs and then I take the little tiny baby scissors and then like I just trim them because they get really long for some reason. Like if I swear to God, if I let my eyebrows go, I could braid them. But yeah, so then after I, after I trim it from the top, I comb it all the way down. And then as you can see, there's so many long hairs here. So then I trim them along the bottom as well. So that's exactly all I do. I play some music or I watch something in the background kind of thing. And then yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows quickly off camera because you guys are gonna be like seeing me in all different kinds. Of oh my God, my voice is so raspy. I'm gonna do it off camera because you're gonna see me in all different kinds of not appealing angles trying to get all these little hairs out and yeah so then, and then I still gotta get my nails done. Ah. Alright guys, I have done my eyebrows. I'm actually loving how they turned out. I actually think I did an amazing job. I didn't do such a good job in such a long time. I Brows are life. If they look bomb then you will always look bomb in all of your looks. So yeah, I know they're not symmetrical. I don't, I don't think anyone has identical eyebrows but I have mad missing hairs on this side right here. So I just fill those in, but I feel like I did a good job. What do you guys think? Let me know. Also, I just like played around with my little fringe. Oh, I didn't tell you. I walked into a hair salon in London the other day because um, I got a haircut like a while back in my previous vlogs and I didn't have like like this kind of vibe, like a fringe kind of flow. I like I, I like when my hair is just like flowy from here and I can just like toss it back. So I walked into the salon and I'm like, can you just cut my fringe? And then I'm like, what? I literally just want you to like cut my bang slash fringe or whatever, just like frame my face a little. And I just sat, I went there, paid 15 pounds <laughs> to get my front hairs cut. Like how crazy is that? I literally took them 15 minutes, but yo, I think it was worth it because that's nice. And then they're like, yo, come back in a month and then they'll properly cut all of my hair and give it dimension because I just got a straight haircut and I kind of want some like oomph back you know what i mean so yeah that's my haircut story so i thought i'd share with you all the bathing suits that i'm taking i don't know about you but i always struggle finding the right ones and i actually get anxious thinking about going somewhere to wear a bathing suit and like guys you show up in the shorts Blech. and call it a day Blech. so for me i'm not your average fit girl you know i'm a little chubs sometimes sometimes curvy. i'm average don't be so hard plus curvy that. plus tick thick plus i am what i am okay so I have found out that the best bathing suits that suit my body type are actually from Fashion Nova. This video is not sponsored by the way. So I have a whole bunch of bathing suits that I just got a couple months ago. I haven't really worn them so I'm like I'll just take them on this trip. But I thought I'd share them with you because anyone else that's struggling with finding bathing suits for your curvy, thick, sometimes chubby, sometimes <laughs> average, sometimes voluptuous <laughs> body. <laughs> Fashion Nova, yo, check it out. So this is one. It has like butterflies on it. I'm in biggest nightmare. Thanks for that. So it has butterflies, so these are the bottoms, they're all high-waisted and they're all comfy, they're really, really comfy. 
Um, and this is the top, so it's like this, and you tie it at the top like this, and then this goes around like your torso like twice and tie it there. And then I got this one, so it's, I've never had a full sleeve one. This is a full sleeve one, which is kind of cool. Um, hold on, let me show you. These are the bottoms. Uh, they're high waisted as well. And this is the top. I love, 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 love the top. The top is actually, so this is the top like this. And the sleeves are like mesh see-through-ish. And then the back, it's like an open back, but then it ha it crosses over like twice. So it's like, it's like a sari blouse kind of vibe. And it's really, really nice. It's really flattering on curvy bodies. The next one I have is the snakeskin one. And these are the bottoms. And the top is actually a tube top and it just like kind of it's like, you know that shirt, like those satin dresses with the kapra, like for the cloth, kapra cloth hangs just like there. Really appealing, really nice. And that actually comes with like this kimono thingy <laughs> or like this cover up and it's all matching. It's really, really nice and I really, really love it. I also have an all white bathing suit, like, but that's not more for the swimming pool, it's more for like just the outfit check. And yeah, so those are the bathing suits. I hope that's helpful for anyone that's struggling to get bathing suits. It's always a hit or miss with Fashion Nova, but these were actually really, really good quality as well. It's really thick, really nice, really supportive of all your curves. All right, so I think I covered most of the basis about packing and the preps that I did to prep for this trip. I also got my nails done earlier. If you guys still haven't figured out where I'm going by my nails, come on guys. This is like the biggest clue in the world. Like these colors, think about these colors. These actually look really, really nice. I actually didn't like them when I first got them done, but they're looking kind of cute now. Anyways, so packing cubes, a must. You should always use packing cubes because it keeps at least going there and opening up your suitcase and finding things easier. But I can kind of question the things on the way and how they're gonna come back. They might not be in the same condition, but that's totally fine. It's all about the sanity when you're there, not when you're coming back, because everything goes in the laundry anyways. So packing cubes, 100%. And then for makeup, for any of you guys that carry a lot of makeup or any products and stuff, and instead of putting them in pouches, I highly recommend getting those Amazon makeup cases. I'll link the one that I have down below, but it's basically like, um, like a black zipper case and it has compartments inside, and then you can put all your makeup in there. And then it has a section for your brushes as well. And then also like two or three other pouches. That's so easy to keep your makeup organized, keep it all in one spot, keep it like mess free. So when you're getting ready as well, you just open it up and you can just do your makeup right away. So I technically have like four little compartments on my side of the suitcase. And then Amin has his like four compartments and it's super, super easy. So you need to open up your suitcase and you won't even be embarrassed to open it up because Everything's where it should be and you won't be tossing and turning things in there to find things or, you know, in case your suitcase is overweight and pull things out. Whew, I feel like I'm talking way too much. But anyways, it's dinner time. There's about four hours left until the travel day. I'm gonna start prepping for my flight at midnight, aka my birthday. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. The next vlog will be the travel day vlog and it'll be all about how I prep for my flight, um, things I put in my carry-on bag or like my big purse or small purse or any of that stuff, like what I take with me onto the plane that I need access to or want access to and all that fun stuff, like the routines and the, the tiredness and that anxious feeling really, really early in the morning. I talk about all of that in the next vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to always stay gold. Mwah.